It's the channel where we have a channel and there's also a channel. So like and subscribe and channel. Yes, please. We try things and do things so that you don't have to. But if you feel so inclined, well, give it a shot. Give it a shot. See Good luck. Happens. So today on the show, we have Russia. We have Russia. In Russia, the snack doesn't create you. The crate snacks you. Huh? Something like that. But as usual, here on We What, we have a very special guest who's going to tell you some awesome fun facts about Russia. It's our resident Russian, Memnok. Memnok, take it away. Hello, thank you for having me again. Today is Russia, with having a capital of Moscow and a population of over 145 million people and a landmass of over 6 million square miles. What an adventure this will be. Some fun facts about Russia. The Trans-Siberian Railroad is the longest railroad in the world, spanning 5,727 miles and crossing eight different time zones. Wow, that's a lot of time. Although this game quickly gained international popularity, the first edition of Tetris was invented in 1984 by the Russian programmer Alexei Pavhitnov. the hell are you? Uh -huh. Please don't hurt me. Traffic in Moscow is so horrendous that some wealthy Muscovite, Mo Muscovites buy ambulances so they can drive freely during rush hour. Right? I agree. That's kind of a dick move. For a brief moment in the 90s, PepsiCo made a deal with Russia that left them with one of the largest submarine fleets in the world. Wow, I have a lot of questions, because I thought they only made cars. Russia is home to the oldest and largest freshwater lake in the world. Lake Baikal contains nearly 20% of the world's fresh water. Wow, aren't those some fun facts? Back to you guys. Awesome, thanks for that Memnock. So, anything new this week? That's a cool. thing. Cool. Proud of you. Going outside As the always. boundaries. So we are going to dig into some Russian snacks. Ooh, now, honey. there are a lot of snacks. I don't know how many I counted total, but it's it's a lot. It's quite a few. So this will be a two-part episode. Um, so welcome to part one of one. snacks. Lucky rolls, sweet and crispy wafers smothered in condensed milk coating and rolled into the perfect snacking roll. I'll be honest, I do not expect anything bad from Russian snacks. I mean, I don't either, but we also also didn't expect anything bad last time with the wine shoes, and I got my hopes let down. It kind of broke a little bit, but yep. they still look really good. They just look little little waffles. Yeah, they break pretty up. easily. I'm oh yeah, passionate. they're crummy. Mm-hmm. Oh! Crumbs. It's a waffle cone. You know what it tastes like? A waffle cone? Thanks, Captain Obvious. No, it tastes like those fortune cookies you get from a Chinese place. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's the same stuff they use for waffle cones. Because I've never put two and two together on that. It's simple. It's light. It's decadent. And it's satisfying. I'm a fan. So it's, it's Russian, so you're not going to make out what it says, but here it is. It's called the Yashkino Soft Waffle, a soft and fluffy home-style waffle that is literally jam-packed. Enjoy a tart cherry feeling in this breakfast favorite. Tort. It's going nice to be tort. a cherry tart waffle. Mm, I'm excited. Uh -oh. Because we just had dinner, so this is all dessert. Boom. Ooh, very dry waffle. Mmm. Very dry. 
Yeah, just it's like a just like a dry waffle. Mm. Mm. The cherry is nice. I'm sure if you nuke it for about 15 seconds, it's probably really good. But then again, it's got jelly in it. Mmm, more than jelly. Mmm, that's so good. Hmm. Well, yep, that's a dry waffle. So this is weird. This is on the list, but it's not something we can eat. But they uh, included a babushka doll, which is this. It's a little pin, it's a babushka doll. So this month we've included a souvenir button that can be sewn onto your clothes. So look at that, we got a little babushka doll. How cute. Really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, thanks snack crate, right? that's pretty neat. Fruit fruit jelly candy. This exotic gummy candies are made with real fruit juices and feature unique flavors like pomegranate, raspberry, peach, pear, apple, and passion fruit. Ooh, I'm excited for these. Well, there's no coconut, so I think I'm safe. Yeah, you should be good. I mean, it's Russia, so Russia's not a very tropical place. So I don't expect any coconut from Russia. Well, when there's fruit shoes involved, you really don't know. <laughs> you never know. Ooh, they smell very strong with whatever they're made of. Yeah? I can't tell what this one is. I think it's the pomegranate. Mm-hmm. That's definitely pomegranate. Yeah, I'm not gonna be sick. Can you try a, a peach one? I think this is peach. Or apple. Or it could be apple. No, it's peach. You really can't tell from the shapes because the shapes are just random shapes. There's really no rhyme or reason to the shapes. I think that's raspberry. Maybe, but it's a boat. Fruit. Look how cool that boat is on there. That's what I had last time. It's a yeah, sailboat. There's a little sailboat on it. You probably can't see it, but it's there. I'm honestly not sure what flavors are what. Yep. Nope. Yep. I don't know. But they're really good. No, that was raspberry. They're definitely really good. They're really good, <laughs> as you can tell. I can't tell what is what on there. So this one is the Three Korochi. Crispy, crunchy, and doused in flavor. These rusts are coated in a rich tomato and herb dusting. I'm excited. When I saw these, I thought um, mozzarella sticks. I'm thinking bruschetta. Bruschetta? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh! Yeah! They strong. They look like little uh, croutons. Yeah! They're like little croutons. Tastes like a crouton. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of salt in that. Mm -hmm. Man, but it's really good. Like, I probably wouldn't be able to eat a whole bag. What's it? Tomato and what? Tomato and herb. 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 Herb, herb. How do you pronounce that? Herb or herb? How does it say? Well, it's spelled H E R B. I think it's herb. That's herb. What about when people say Italian herbs and spices? Are they meaning to say herb and spices? I guess it just depends, or maybe the age is silent. I don't know. Because I, I don't know when I, when I see herb, H-E-R-B, I always pronounce it herb. Like 11 maybe, herbs and spices. Maybe that is how it is. I don't know. Yeah, E-R, you said herb, so E-R-B, that would, you're saying it as it sounds. Hmm, maybe The age is just silent. I guess we'll find out. Comment section below. <laughs> right. Krishki Krishki croutons? Three? Question I apologize marks? if that's wrong. A fun twist on a favorite Russian snack. Salmon and cheese flavored rusk with tartar sauce for dipping. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Interesting. I wonder if these are going to be just like those uh, tomato and herb ones that we just had. Probably. Like in terms of consistency. Oh, dude. They actually did include the dipping sauce. Our what? Okay. What's the dipping sauce again? Tartar sauce. But that means it's warm tartar sauce. Like, let's let's just try them by themselves and then we'll get the tartar sauce out. So there's salmon flavor. Oh yeah. Very fishy. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's fishy. Woo hoo! All right. I see the reason for tartar sauce. And yeah. now we're gonna open up some. Uh, <laughs> Tartar sauce that was sent in this box that was sitting out on my porch in 90 degree weather. Gross, I'm not getting sick. Eh, we should be alright, it was sealed, right? Well, we get a stomach virus, we know what happened. 
is, honey. Oh, much more mellow. Mm hmm Still very fishy. Yeah, it's very fishy forward. I definitely feel like... Yeah. It just, I feel like I'm swimming in an aquarium and I just took an inhale of water. They're just fishy. My breath tastes like fish. Yeah, this is, I mean. They're good snacks, don't get me wrong. The flavor is addictive. Yashkino Dutch waffle, two soft and chewy waffle cookies sandwiched around a layer of thick caramel. Mm -hmm. Thick. Yep. Oh daddy, that is some thick caramels. Ooh, I wonder if it's like a honeycomb. Ooh, a little, little string action in there. Ooh. <laughs> there go. I'm a big caramel fan. Mmm. Mmm. It's simple. That's like an elf cookie. I, I don't see that, but... I taste it. Well, in the waffle part. Mmm. I definitely dig it. It's a nice little like, maybe like an after dinner coffee. Like, dip it. Dip you in the coffee. Yeah. Or a hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Or a hot chocolate. I imagine with Russia being a colder climate, they have a lot of stuff like this. It's just like sugary and dense. And like. I'm like delicious. My turn to read. Wait, is it your turn to read? Yep. I wasn't sure. Which one should I get? I don't know. Ooh. This one has a baby on it. That's a. Uh... A uh, Yonka chocolate. Ooh, Named Yonka after chocolate. the daughter of the first woman in space, this milk chocolate bar has been the market leader in Russia since 1966. Ooh, it's definitely... Oh, it's in wax paper. I was wondering why it felt so weird. <laughs> it's like you're opening to find the golden ticket. Oh, what if there was one in here? Does that <laughs> mean we get half of Russia? I want to see the front of this bar. Definitely make the babies on the front of the bar as well. Nope. Nope, it's just chocolate squares. Um, you seem so disappointed. I, I really am. I was hoping it was definitely baby. melted. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> melted a little bit, for sure. But the good news is, since it's in squares, it's easy to break. Break the squares. I hope this isn't really like super rich. Milk and chocolate. That's like the perfect milk chocolate. Yeah, I'm more of a dark, ch dark chocolate person. Same. But this is definitely good. Damn. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I can do this. Well, who can't do chocolate? I mean, the, just the creaminess of it. It's like the perfect creaminess. That's what it is. Man, we're definitely saving that. Ooh, put that in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Ooh, put it in the freezer. Or that. Get, like, get it like real hard. Mm. You like a brick to break. Then you just suck on it. And after that incredible milk chalky. Milk Chalky? Milk Chocolate, Milk Chocolate Adventure. We're going to go ahead and end it here for today. But tune in next week where we return to Russia and finish out this snack crates. I need some milk. Bye. Bye.